As you know, this is the presentation of the Master in uh, Furniture Design from the Polydesign uh, Consortium uh, for the third uh, edition uh, that will take place uh, starting from the end of November 2020. Uh, let's uh, briefly introduce uh, those that are here for the presentation. My name is Alessandro Deserti and I'm uh, director of the master and uh, uh, teacher at the Department of uh, Design of the Politecnico di Milano. Together with me, Professor Francesco Zurlo, who is co-director of uh, the master uh, program and also uh, professional uh, teacher at the Politecnico di Milano, Elisa Stori, uh, who is a uh, scientific coordinator of the master uh, and uh, one of the teachers uh, in the master uh, program uh, and uh, also a person with a long standing experience uh, in the field of uh, furniture, both in managerial, uh, uh, in the managerial field uh, and in the design field. And together with us, one of the design uh, professors, uh, um, Paolo Bartoli, uh, who is connected from his uh, studio. Hello. Um, and finally, uh, Anna Consolati and Nick Lavena, who provide us with support in managing the students, uh, all the, the conduction of uh, the master program, etc. Let me get into, into the program itself, starting from a brief description of what the goals uh, of the program are, which are the professional expectations that you might have in attending this master program, and which is the structure of, uh, of the program. Let's start with the goals. Uh, over the last years, there's been uh, a quite dramatic transformation uh, of many industrial sectors and specifically the furniture sector and in particular, the transformation um, uh, involved, uh, let's say, the, the, the uh, relevance uh, of uh, the non-physical uh, dimension or better, uh, the necessity to start managing uh, altogether the physical dimension, namely the design of the products uh, and uh, a number of uh, non-tangible uh, issues, in particular uh, uh, putting together the management and the design of products together with the management and the design of uh, brands and their positioning in national or international markets. This called for uh, uh, transformations inside the companies uh, and a new generation of uh, designers that are not only product designers but also aware uh, of this environment in which companies uh, operate. Um, in this, uh, the Italian uh, companies uh, kind of led the transformation at uh, an international uh, level because in Italy we have some of the most uh, renowned uh, and relevant uh, brands uh, uh, that operate uh, in, in the field. Uh, and starting from, uh, from uh, their experience uh, and the kind of experience we, we had with them in, uh, in uh, consultancy, but also in uh, in uh, teaching uh, activities, uh, we launched this, uh, this master, which is particularly innovative uh, in terms uh, of its capacity to put together all these uh, dimensions. Um, in terms of expectations, uh, we can uh, have uh, designers uh, that work uh, in research and development uh, offices, that lead design uh, processes in companies, but also in studios uh, that are focused uh, in the furniture sector, uh, or designers that, that, that may be uh, experts uh, in uh, also more technical uh, uh, issues uh, that, that, that are focused uh, on uh, uh, final stage of the design uh, process, the one that are closer to engineering. At the same time, uh, the master aims uh, at uh, 
uh, uh, educating people with the managerial uh, background that want to have an understanding, a better understanding and capacity of managing uh, design. Uh, so we have uh, uh, both things uh, uh, in terms uh, of recruitment and both things uh, in terms of possible outcomes. The structure of the master is, of course, uh, built around these objectives uh, and around uh, the centrality of the Italian experience. So we have an initial uh, module, uh, which is called Italian Furniture Design and Manufacturing, that uh, uh, sets the ground uh, and, uh, and provides uh, students uh, with the cultural but also technical uh, framework for the rest of the master program. We have a core part of the master program that is dedicated to um, enforcing or giving shape to design capacities. Uh, this, this includes a number of uh, workshops uh, and courses in which students have the opportunity of working directly with the partner companies to develop projects, starting from their briefs. We have a course that is specifically focused on understanding brand, the positioning of companies and the kind of strategic directions that they may take and provides the capacity of putting through the, the design of the products together with the strategy of the companies and their positioning, and of course their portfolio. And we have one last uh, module uh, that is uh, dedicated, uh, completely dedicated to these intangibles that I was mentioning in the very beginning. So not only giving shape to products, but also uh, understanding the necessity to, uh, to put this together with uh, communication and uh, with management uh, of the presence of the brand in the point of sale. Uh, so we have an understanding here of traditional channels, traditional distribution channels, but also uh, new forms of uh, distribution that are of course particularly relevant uh, today not only because of the emergency, the fact that we have to sort of shift uh, what we used to sell in presence uh, to the digital space, but also because the sector was already uh, going in this uh, direction. And in fact, uh, this was already there uh, as, as a module before uh, this uh, pandemic. Getting to the timeline, uh, we, we will start at the end of November. Um, in order to uh, also give students the possibility um, to solve any kind of uh, issue that is related to their presence uh, here in Milan, uh, the first module will, will be fully delivered online. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, for the first month, uh, there is uh, no need to, to be uh, physically present here because the, the whole module will be delivered at distance. Uh, starting from, uh, from February, uh, for the rest of, uh, of um, the modules, uh, we plan to have uh, at least a great part of the students, uh, even though, as you will see, there is also the possibility to have a full online experience, uh, to have great part of the participants uh, in presence. Uh, so modules uh, from two to four uh, will be delivered in, in presence with the possibility of also attending uh, a distance. One element uh, of characterization of this uh, program is the internship. As you will see, we have some of the major uh, uh, Italian uh, furniture brands uh, that are partnering the master, but we also have many connections with other companies and uh, studios, uh, and uh, we provide opportunities for internship to, to students. Uh, one uh, small uh, notice about this uh, is that uh, even though we had uh, the pandemic uh, for the current edition, we already placed uh, 
almost all the students in, uh, in presence uh, internships. Uh, and uh, to, to, to conclude, this, this, this will uh, take uh, from two to six months, uh, also depending on a number of factors, uh, for example, the availability of, uh, of internships uh, and uh, the duration, uh, uh, the interest of uh, students and, uh, and other factors. Uh, you will be able to, to, in any case, graduate by developing an individual final uh, project that might be connected with the internship or not. That will be also the kind of uh, uh, thing that you will uh, present uh, uh, for your uh, graduation at the end of the program, which we plan uh, to have uh, by uh, January uh, 2022. Um, about the, the, let's say, core contents uh, of the program and the, and the cultural uh, uh, background, what we try to do here, which I already tried to briefly introduce, is to have a clear focus on the Italian design culture, um, which is a very specific approach uh, to design, particularly in, in the field of, uh, of furniture, for which there is a long-standing tradition, but also um, relevant technical uh, capacities, which is, at least in our perspective, uh, a cultural attitude uh, that we would like to, to transmit uh, through this master uh, program. And we put this together with two elements uh, that are very relevant uh, in the program. One is the presence of the industry, which is a cultural presence, but also uh, a presence uh, that brings in uh, capacities, manufacturing capacities, technical uh, capacities and background. All the projects that we develop in the master are based on briefs that come straight from companies. And one last uh, element we look at uh, is, is uh, uh, to give shape to designers that are able to design uh, for international markets. This is partly connected with the fact that we have students that come from all over the world, but it's also connected with the intentions of, uh, of companies. Uh, getting to the companies, uh, as, you, as you may see, some of the most uh, renowned international brands are uh, partners of, uh, of the master. And as I was uh, saying, they bring in their expertise directly because they provide us uh, with briefs, but also technical knowledge with the possibility of uh, visiting, uh, with the possibility of talking uh, with them throughout uh, the program. Uh, and indirectly, because uh, most of the time we also get in touch uh, with quite famous designers uh, that are working for these companies and that come uh, to the master in order to provide us uh, with their uh, expertise uh, and knowledge with, 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 uh, with their capacities. Uh, the governance, uh, I, can, I can briefly run on this, uh, as I already introduced the people that are uh, here. Uh, together with us, there is also John Bennett, who is uh, coordinating uh, module two that is uh, totally dedicated to the, to the projects. And we have a quite relevant steering committee that uh, comprises people from, uh, from the field of design, uh, relevant designers, but also design culture uh, in general, I would say, and the number of people that come straight from uh, the companies uh, and that bring in their, uh, their personal perspective uh, and that collaborated with us in giving shape to the, to the program. Uh, Francesco, may I give word to you so that you can uh, introduce this uh, part that is more dedicated to the activities that we conduct with the companies and the kind of project that you may expect uh, to, 
to have uh, okay so thank you for attending and you know uh, the, the master is a uh, master to uh, focus on uh, what, what we, we call uh, the uh, Italian uh, uh, example of furniture design. So the idea is also um, having experiences about uh, the companies and the studios, design studios, how they work with the Italian companies, so the relationship uh, between designers and companies and so on. Of course, this year we have some problems to manage uh, these visits uh, to uh, companies uh, far from Milan, but our idea is organizing uh, some uh, visits uh, in Brianza. Brianza is uh, you know, a region uh, very close to Milan, and this is the center of the most important eminent uh, companies in the furniture sector. So, uh, with Elisa's story, we will uh, organize these visits uh, as soon as the uh, epidemic conditions uh, will uh, uh, provide us the, 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 you know, the conditions you know, so to, 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 to go there. I don't know if, uh, Elisa, you want to add something about these visits or the visits we have done uh, in this last yeah. edition? Yeah, yeah. yeah. actually... This uh, is uh, always something uh, that uh, uh, is uh, a kind of surprise. Uh, even if uh, all the students apl applying for this master knows uh, about the visit, uh, once we enter to these uh, big companies and they allowed us to enter also in production, uh, everybody is uh, quite uh, 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 how to say cannot believe his eyes because it's quite incredible uh, the quality and to see all the machines working and uh, in front of you you have poltrona frau sofa or magis chair or whatever we will visit so you both uh, will know who manage those uh, big brands, but also you will enter in the heart of those uh, companies and uh, seeing the know-how that is uh, fully Italian uh, in the production. This is the only little thing I would maybe, like to add. Yeah. Lisa, you, you no, uh, maybe we, we can add that, uh, you know, the, the success of um, uh, furniture product here in Italy is not just the, the genius of the designer, but, you know, uh, the, the relationship uh, uh, among different stakeholders, let's say different actors. And when you go to uh, the companies, uh, to the factories, you can understand that, you know, there is a set of different actors uh, providing their competencies and their expertise in order to uh, develop new, new ideas, uh, new products, uh, and so on. Even, you know, accepting challenges, you know, coming from from the designers and you know uh, sometimes the uh, challenge is the the trigger now for innovation in this in these companies in these factories so you can understand that sometimes the the product is just the top of a, an iceberg let's say where you have a lot of stakeholder and actors uh, you know contributing together not to, to to the making of this of this product and design is just you know the uh, the trigger no, of this, of this uh, network uh, of, of, of different people uh, with different expertise. And when you go visit the companies, you, you can feel this, you can understand uh, this, this systemic dimension of the Italian furniture design. Yeah, what uh, made uh, quite astonish the students uh, once we have visited uh, those companies uh, the last two years, has been uh, uh, understanding that uh, even the most important designers from uh, Patricia Chiola, well, we know very well who, are, who they are, even if they know materials, production, etc., who drives really the realization of their prototypes in the right way is not the knowledge of the designer, but is a match between them, the owner, and the art director of the company, but moreover, the artisan working who knows better than anyone else 
which is the right way to realize uh, this uh, sketch. So it's a mix, as you were selling, uh, telling, uh, between uh, many stakeholders. Yeah, a big know-how made by, by artisans and people working with their hands. Yeah. Okay. So uh, going back to the the, the previous slides, uh, you you have seen that it's, it's very important. To, a learning by doing approach, uh, collaborating with companies, uh, uh, you know, inviting companies to propose real briefs to our students. And uh, uh, the, the master is organized with some exercises with companies and with eminent designers, and Paolo Barter is one of them. And maybe Paolo, uh, you, you, you can add something uh, later on about uh, your experience with our students. Uh, and the idea is, you know, um, creating together in teams uh, some solutions coming from these real briefs. Uh, this, is, uh, this is very important. It's the best way to, to learn about, you know, which are the constraints you have to consider every time you want to uh, develop new ideas and new products for uh, these uh, very important uh, eminent companies coming from the financial independent sector. And another very important thing is about the exploration of typologies. Uh, so we start, you know, furniture design is about uh, you know, designing products related to some specific typologies. In this case, you can see um, a, a table, you know? so exploring opportunities and possibilities uh, uh, of, of these typologies uh, with these different exercises where you uh, try to understand if there are some emerging needs uh, coming from the market, if there are some uh, uh, new technologies, if there are some input uh, coming from, uh, let's say, the, 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 the social cultural context, uh, think about uh, the circular economy and the sustainable issues that sometimes, uh, uh, you know, provide a new uh, input uh, for, uh, for innovation in the financial sector. And uh, you know, uh, every team explores these possibilities with, with, a, with, a, with a professor. Uh, one of them is uh, Paolo Bartoli. Maybe Paolo, you, uh, you, you can add something about the experience you had in the last two editions. Yes, of course. Um, it's quite interesting to tell about what I do for a living. I, I am a designer, I'm an architect. Um, I design a lot of furniture. So uh, I can tell that design is like going through a journey. So you know where you start, but you never know where you end. Um, we are told that design is to answer needs, users' needs, and that's correct. But sometimes these needs are not explicit. So uh, the designer or even the company that gives a brief is that they, they do not have um, in many cases uh, the insight to know where to, to start. So uh, my job as a let's say design teacher is to question to uh, have a critic approach to the brief we are used to receive from, from companies. So I press the students to analyze the problem they're confronted to and try to make their own brief to verify a lot of assumptions that are given as, uh, well, assumed. Um, reality is that as uh, Elisa told, um, Italian design uh, is specifically, um, let's say, a meeting of minds. So uh, the design arena is quite busy. You have the designer, you have the company, but you have a lot of other actors. You have craftsmanship that plays a very important role because you might know that in Italy we have big companies, well, relatively, big companies in the furniture business uh, that rely on many uh, craftsmen that give these companies the ability to be flexible, to be 
let's say to the, the made in Italy is a combination of all these um, abilities. So what I try to do in, um, in during this master is to uh, to let students understand uh, what is all about designing some piece of furniture with a very hands-on approach. I personally like to to use sketches and models, physical models, to develop the ideas, design ideas. So the sketch to me and the model that is simply a three-dimensional sketch are design tool, uh, a way to, to think about uh, the project, the design. And as soon as we sketch, we draw, we're already exhibiting ideas. So <clears throat> that's my, uh, my take Thank on design. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Paolo. Um, maybe we can go to the other slide. Um, this is about the individual final project. Every student uh, individually uh, has to uh, make uh, you know, his uh, uh, personal exercise. Uh, so starting with, with a brief, uh, uh, usually uh, this, this brief is coming from uh, the uh, experience uh, uh, done in the internship, during the internship or maybe working uh, with, with the company, with a specific project work, sometimes it's uh, personal exploration, it depends. But, you know, uh, it's always um, uh, a way to uh, explore innovation in the furniture sector where we check together with the, with the faculty uh, the, the evolution of this, of this project. And another very important thing is uh, considering uh, not just the product, but uh, what we call the product system. So uh, how to integrate uh, this new idea within the catalog of the company. So um, if uh, uh, there is, a, there is a, a link uh, with the core competence of the company. So if the, the, the student uh, um, understands the, the, the characteristics of the company and provide, provides uh, an idea, Fitting with the characteristics of the company, you can see some of the projects coming from uh, uh, the, the the final uh, projects uh, of the last uh, uh, edition. Uh, uh, a couple of projects uh, developed by uh, the, the the students. And then we have the final um, slide. Uh, maybe uh, I give the floor to uh, Anna Consolati. Um, she is the uh, coordinator with uh, uh, Nicola uh, Mervena of, the, of, of our master. Please, yes, the slide uh, is talking about the, the timeline yeah. related to the full online uh, version. So before you saw the, the normal timeline, this is uh, related to the full online uh, course. Uh, um, so the, the first part is the same so from November till uh, February 21 uh, is the same, so three hours per day. Um, probably from 2 p.m. till uh, 5 p.m. final time. And um, from February uh, 2021 till June 2021, uh, you will have the, the possibility to interact uh, with uh, the class, your classmates that will be uh, in Milan and uh, also with the professor during, uh, as you did before, um, the, the different activities of the master. But you have to follow uh, the Italian uh, time zone. So we organize the, the lesson six hours per day, tomorrow from 10 a.m. in the morning till 1 p.m. and from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, you will have the possibility to um, interact with me during the, the workshop uh, and obviously during the theoretical lecture. About the internship, uh, you will have the possibility to do the internship in presence in Italy, if you can come in Italy or in uh, your country, or you can, uh, you can choose the, the project to work. Unfortunately, it's not possible to, till now, it's not possible to take uh, part to the company and the showroom visits. 
Uh, we have a specific fee for this kind of uh, master, um, for the full online master. So the participation fee is uh, 12,600 euros. Uh, you have to add the registration fee at the University of Milano, that is uh, 500 euros. So the total is uh, 13,100 euros. Um, next slide, probably, is related to the, the selection, uh, the, selection um, the documents that you have to, uh, to send uh, in order to, to fill out the admission form. And there is a specific link that you can see here. And uh, you have to, to send these documents uh, uh, within October 30. Um, so we need uh, your CV, your motivation letter, the portfolio, motivation three, the university transcript, and uh, the ID card uh, if you are European, uh, or the passport if you, if you are not. And uh, next motivational interview with uh, with me and uh, Elisa Story uh, is scheduled for uh, tomorrow or uh, the, the day after, so the 30th of September. Okay, so thank you so much for attending. If, the, if, if there are some questions, so here we are, and uh, we, we give you the floor, please uh, raise your hand, and then we can provide you a answer to your specific questions. Um, just to say another thing is very important. Uh, companies, furniture companies, Italian furniture companies are very, really interested in the in, in, in our profiles, in the in the people coming from uh, our masters, and most of our ex students are working with very uh, important companies in this sector. So, it's consider even the uh, the placement as uh, you know uh, an asset of this uh, of this uh, this master. There are some questions? Well, maybe what I could bring to the end uh, is to, to focalize the, the way in which we conduct the uh, project because we have at the same time uh, teamwork. Um, this is very important uh, for me in the field of design, not only furniture design, but I would say design in general. Uh, so you have this kind of projects uh, that are conducted in team with, uh, with companies and those are the kind of projects that we have uh, in module uh, two. But uh, we are also uh, aware of the necessity to have some kind of individuality. Uh, and this is uh, expressed uh, fundamentally in the final project so you can afford the possibility of working together with other students. It's a very interesting uh, experience uh, and opportunity, the one that the private students have so far, because uh, we really have people coming from uh, all over the world to have an international experience. And, uh, and beyond this, uh, there is also uh, the capacity to the possibility to develop uh, transversal uh, capacities. So teamwork uh, is, uh, is uh, understood uh, when you start working in team. Okay, so there are some questions. So the first one is about the subject so that will be held online. Yes, I go back to the, to the description of the modules uh, so you can see what module one uh, is about. Okay. Uh, it's a module that is dedicated to capacity building of the students, uh, so it's a matter of uh, uh, giving shape to the common ground. Uh, it's also a matter of technical capacities, of course. And on the other hand, uh, it's a matter of uh, setting them uh, in terms of cultural uh, background. So we have two, let's say, Mm, more technical uh, issues uh, and one more, more cultural one. And the two technical are uh, on one hand uh, capacities in terms of 3D modeling and rendering, 
uh, or else uh, those uh, techniques and those tools uh, that are common in the field of design and that you have to manage in order to uh, then conduct uh, the project activities. Um, on the other hand, uh, still on, on the technical uh, side, uh, um, there is the need to provide students with information about the technologies that are mostly used uh, in the sector. So this part is also covered uh, with the point of view of, uh, of the technologies and the kind of processes that are connected with the technologies and the kind of materials uh, that furniture companies uh, make use of. While on the cultural uh, side, uh, there is fundamentally Lisa's course, which I then give word to her, which is dedicated specifically dedicated to introducing uh, uh, Ita the Italian design uh, way or the Italian design perspective with uh, uh, lectures, but also a series of uh, uh, people coming from. Uh, studios, uh, design studios and companies that bring in their own uh, personal perspective and experience. Uh, Elisa, I would like to some... give your word to you if you want to deepen this. Well, uh, uh, while it will, it will be online, uh, we will not be able uh, until uh, maybe we will find a way once uh, uh, students will reach us, uh, but uh, usually the other years we were visiting uh, some offices, uh, design offices like Rodolfo Dordoni and uh, Michele De Lucchi, uh, Park Associate, but uh, we can also make this uh, meeting uh, in, uh, in another way, so oh, students wait. can deal with them and can also talk with those people uh, by remote uh, so they can uh, explain the reason why they could become uh, uh, very well-known designers uh, etc so the italian way as you were mentioning okay. yes i'm confident that we, we already had uh, experience uh, with the use of this uh, remote uh, teaching technologies uh, that well, there is another question related to the business background of Serene. Um, she asked, is the, how technical should the knowledge be of software? So, so yeah, we have a basic course, you know, in, in, the, in the starting of the, of the master, providing, you know, basic knowledge about the use of softwares, uh, uh, and then you can improve it uh, during the, the master itself. But, uh, for, from our point of view, it's very important to create diversity within the classroom uh, because we are people coming from different cultures, but even from with, with different backgrounds. Uh, the last two editions, we had people with business background, but they were very integrated uh, within the classroom, uh, within the class, so collaborating with the, with the other students with different expertise and so acquiring, thanks to this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, frequency, the, the, the other, the other uh, um, expertise, other approaches, uh, and, and so on. So don't, don't, don't be afraid about, about this. Yes. Uh, there is a list in the chat, but so we start with, uh, you know, uh, very expert uh, professors about 3D modeling and rendering to provide you the basic knowledge about, uh, about these softwares. Um, uh, will there be placements after the course? Uh, you know, when we manage uh, internship, this is the first step. Uh, to, con to, to, to consolidate your uh, presence within the company. So it, it's, uh, it's uh, the best way for a company understanding your capacities, uh, your talents, uh, your uh, expertise and so on. So this is, uh, uh, let's say, the, 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 the right window to understand uh, your capabilities and then maybe to, uh, to be placed within the company. Uh, financial aid and accommodation. Bye. There is uh, one uh, partial question. Uh, the deadline is uh, today. Uh, 
questo di sustainability uh, to the, sono lo vedi uh, the documents for their mission and send to an email saying that you are interested in uh, the the things taking consideration mm -hmm. for the partial sustainable so, uh, design uh, the amount of the 25% uh, less uh, and then uh, Julian Asero or Julian Siro, uh, he asks about uh, sustainable design furniture. Alessandro. I think I can reply here briefly and maybe also how can I add something. Um, we have uh, lectures. Uh, that are specifically dedicated to introducing the, the issue of sustainability. Uh, I would say in contemporary and complex uh, manner, so it's not just a matter of that, but understanding uh, um, what sustainability is in reality and what circular economy is uh, when you put it uh, into the, the complex uh, framework of a company that is uh, uh, manufacturing and delivering uh, products uh, to markets. So this complex uh, understanding of sustainability is for sure uh, part of the master program. Um, we provide this view, but we also provide technical tools. In particular, uh, Paolo specifically has, has been exploring this uh, with his students and maybe he can directly speak about the experience. Yes, uh, <coughs> I would be happy to. Um, yes, Alessandro uh, told you about, let's say, the, the strategic approach to sustainability. Uh, and of course, there's also uh, a practical approach. So when you're supposed to design a new product, you have to take care of sustainability, of, of course. Uh, but it's not a, an easy task. So we have so many um, things to, to, to think about, talking about sustainability. And sometimes you, uh, you're somehow puzzled where to start from. So I was confronted to, with this problem and I suggested using some software tools that uh, might help the students, might help the designer to approach the choices you have to do in designing a product. So you, you might start from, from asking yourself, um, which, uh, uh, which importance might have the choice of materials or the choice of uh, processes, production processes in the environmental weight of the product. So we have some easy to approach uh, softer tools that of course I will be talking about in, in the lectures that uh, might help us. Um, that's like, I would say, an introduction to sustainability design because you might know that in, in the, the university, in, uh, at the Politecnico di Milano, <coughs> we have some uh, sustainability uh, design lectures that last maybe one year. So, <laughs> there's always time to delve in this uh, specific uh, uh, approach. Anyway, we, I have suggested some, some tools that are easy to use and uh, give you some insights uh, about uh, how to approach design and, 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 and let's say, give your uh, indication about sustainability in the design development. Um, maybe I can uh, briefly add something about the topic that is uh, uh, this issue is uh, super relevant. Uh, it is super relevant uh, not only for uh, foreign users uh, but today uh, strongly for companies. Um, I think it's relevant all over the world. Uh, it is super relevant uh, in Italy and all, all across uh, Europe. Uh, 
uh, due to the kind of environmental policies that have been launched uh, by the Commission. Uh, the next uh, seven years uh, will be fully dedicated uh, to transforming Europe uh, uh, in uh, um, the most sustainable uh, manufacturing and living uh, system uh, across the world. I'm not sure if the, the challenge uh, uh, will be easy to face uh, and uh, if uh, we will be able to meet this. But for sure, also due to policies that push companies in this direction, this is going to be one of the key topics. And of course, in the master, we take this into, into serious account. And we are just starting a, a workshop uh, with Magis about this specific yes. uh, topic uh, of the circular economy. So uh, to consider sustainable issues when we develop new products. And there is a child on Rao raising the case of her hand. Please, could you reach on the microphone and tell us what you want to know? Danish. So you, you can see uh, from Anna Consolati a message to everyone about uh, the uh, financial aid that we can uh, provide. Today is the deadline, but we have time. Okay, since uh, we don't have any further questions in the chat, right? I think we can uh, then uh, conclude here. I would like to uh, all those uh, that took part in the presentation. Uh, well, for now, it's uh, end of uh, November. Uh, what is the exact date? 25. Okay, it's November the 25th. Okay, perfect. No more questions. Again, uh, thanks uh, to all the participants uh, in this presentation. And thanks to all my colleagues uh, for being here together with me. Thank you, thank you so much. Hope to see you soon, uh, uh, you know, in presence here in Milan. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you all.